from your local election headquarters. This is Big Country Politics on KTAB. Okay, welcome back to Big Country Politics. We're continuing our converse, conversation with Kelly Thompson with Abilene Convention and Visitors Bureau. Now, there is one event, because that's what we're doing. We're just talking about uh, all of these events that, that you guys are working on. And, and one of these events um, that has just been growing and growing and it has become more popular, I mean, this is the place to be, is the Outlaws and Legends concert. Yeah, it's really exciting. You know, they've already sold out of all the VIP and <laughs> RV spots. I think all that's left right now is general admission, and those may sell out before the concert uh, happens on is Friday 22nd, or is that the 22nd and 23rd? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, it's coming up. Chris Christofferson is the legend. Yeah, I mean. Singer, songwriter. I mean, that's marvelous to have him in our, our community. He'll, he'll close it out Saturday night. And I was going to say, this, this, there seems to be like stages to this concert as it comes up every year. And one of the first things is, okay, Who's coming this year? I mean, that's always a great right. anticipation, right? Right, and they've got a good lineup of bands. I think people are really excited about Midland. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, you can tell I don't listen to country music, but I love all the people who are coming. Yeah, Shooter Jennings concert. and all, all of them. Yes, guys. yes, yes. Um, so that's happening at the Back Porch of Texas, which is a wonderful outdoor space. And, 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 and like I was saying, so that, that first stage is, okay, finding out who's coming this year. And, yeah. and, and then that next one is, okay, everybody's buying tickets, okay, and they're waiting for the concert. Everybody's waiting now. Right. That's where we're at right now, anticipation. So we're looking forward to it. And then the next thing, this, this concert benefits... Uh, ben Ritchie uh, Boys Ranch. Ben Ritchie yeah. Boys Ranch. So the next one, a a after, the, uh, after the concert is come and gone, the next thing we're waiting for is how much money they raised. And that's always a big announcement. Absolutely. I think Ben Ritchie has gotten more than a million dollars from uh, the concerts over the past nine years. And it has, it's just what a wonderful thing Mark Powell, our own Mark Powell who grew up here, has done by starting this. It's really snowballed and gotten bigger and bigger every year. Now, we're going to get to this. This, this is a huge deal for us. March is just a fun month right now. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. Spring break, I hope, will bring a lot of people. But you're talking about the Brothers Keeper world premiere on March 30th. This at the is going to be a big deal. Yes, yes. We're expecting the actors. Okay, so let, maybe back up. Okay, okay, okay. So it's the movie of the 2009 Abilene High Eagles state champs written by our own Chad Mitchell and Al Pickett. Movies being made with Milo Gibson playing Chad, Lawrence Fishburne of all people playing Harold Christian. Oh my gosh! I mean, what what an iconic uh, actor, along with an iconic person In played our community. exactly. Right, I I know. I, his family just must be over the moon. I can't imagine how exciting it is to see your your dad or your uncle played by Lawrence Fishburne. But yes. So the world premiere will be happening in Abilene. It's a director's cut because the movie will be distributed nationwide in the fall. So they had committed to this date. So what Abilene's going to see is a longer version that hasn't been you know, trimmed down, which is great um, because we'll see all the Abilene scenes and Abilene extras. Uh, we'll have a red carpet with the actors walking in, a dinner, dance movie viewing, all at the convention center. Those tables have sold out, but of course they have, yeah. people who, uh, anybody can come for the $15 10 o'clock showing of the movie that will be going on in the auditorium at the convention center while all the other celebrating is going on. Oh, this is great. This is the first I'm hearing about this. Yes, I'm surprised you didn't know. Um, they still have tickets left. Many of them have sold. But there's a link at abilenevisitors.com on our website under the Brothers Keeper premiere. There's a link to where you can buy these $15 tickets and line up. Maybe you'll get lucky and see an actor who happens to be in town since oh. it's all in the same building. But, yeah, so I think that's a marvelous thing. Very exciting news. And just for those people who may not know, uh, we did mention Lawrence Fishburne, who will be playing uh, Harold over at Harold's yes. Barbecue. It used yes. to be a, a, a very famous barbecue place here uh, just 
Just yeah, they're Calgary. very proud of that scene too when they filmed it, which they did the indoor scenes in Minneapolis where Winter State Entertainment is mm -hmm. based. Um, and they had all of the wall decorations from the original Heralds there. And I remember doing that story. They brought it all out to the station. We spread it all out on the lawn and we're taking pictures of it. It was just so cool to look at. Yeah, evidently he saw the YouTube video of Harold singing Amen. L Lawrence Fishburne did, because there's, yeah. there's a YouTube video out there of Harold singing Amen, and, and everybody's seen it. Yeah, and that he saw it and was like, I want to play that man. Yeah, so. I think, I don't know, it gives me chills. It's, it's very exciting. Uh, this is all big news, and it, thank you very much for, for being here on the show. Is there anything else that, that, that you want to mention, or did we cover it all? Which of course, there's no way to cover it all. Anything that comes to Anybody mind, who says there's nothing to do isn't paying attention, because we've got a lot happening this month. So Kelly Thompson, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back on Big Country Politics.